Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number two, guys. I am glad you're here. It's a rainy day and when it's a rainy day and I finish my chores, I always choose to come down here and paint. <laughs> it's my happy place, guys. I did a swipe a while back that you all really liked, uh, a multiple swipe. And then a while back before that, I did a, a blowout swipe. Um, half was a Dutch pour, half was a swipe, and you all really seem to like that as well. So I'm kind of reusing some of the colors from the multiple blowout swipe, and I possibly might do the multiple swiping that you all seem to like that I did about a week or so ago. So we're working with some yummy, yummy colors, and we are working on a, let me grab it, 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas, kind of a, a big lady. And I, I like big ladies. I like small ladies. I like, uh, I like all sizes. Our colors are super yummy. A couple of base coat colors we got going on. Let's see if you can pick up that purple, coppery, goldy goodness right there. I had my, uh, Michael's coupon. So I head on down to Michael's and picked up some Folk Art Treasure Gold, the Antique Copper. For those of you who have not tried this paint, you need to. It is yummy, delicious, good. It's got a almost a color shift to it, a beautiful deep purple, coppery gold um, color to it. And because of that, I decided to pick up all those colors in our other colors. So what else do we have going on here? That is part of our base coat. That is also in this cup right here, one of our swiping colors. This other base coat color is my slot paints. My slot paints are, I have a bunch of different containers, these nice 10 ounce containers I got with lids from Amazon. And when I uh, pick up my scrapings after I do a pour, I've got a couple of buckets. I've got a dark black and a blue, and I've got a coppery, and I've got a goldy. This is where I put my coppers, my golds, my um, lighter hues, and mix it all up. I believe there's some nickel azo gold in here as well. And then I strain it, doctor it up, thicken it up, thin it down, whatever it is I need to do. So this is my slop bucket paints, which is probably copper, gold, and some nickel azo gold in it. And we also have right here some Artist Loft Soft Body in the black. Now all of our paints are mixed to the same consistency with the same pouring medium. We are 50% Flood Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and every one of these paints got a squirt of GAC 800, bigger squirt on the bigger containers. Right here, yummy color. What is that? That's the Q word, guys. Golden Fluid Acrylics in the Nickel Azo Gold. And I added just a drop or two of the Decor Metallics and the 24 karat gold to that paint. Right here is, where is it? I forgot it. Hang on. That is Chroma Molten Metals. That is their Xanadu Gold. And to that I added just a smidgen of the Deco Art 24 karat gold to richen that up as well. Right here, yummy goodness. Let's just take a look at this. This is the prettiest copper on the face of the earth as far as I am concerned. That is golden fluids in the iridescent copper. Now, the fluid paints took absolutely no water. The Artist Loft Black took a little bit of water with my pouring medium. And uh, this paint right here, the Liquitex Basics, the tube paint, that is the Prism Violet. The tube paints are a heavier body paint than my fluid paints. So no water, no water, no water. Just a smidgen of water in the Folk Art paint 
Water in the Artist Loft Black. This is more of our base coat color, the Artist Loft Soft Body in the Black. And this is the Liquitex um, Prism Violet in the two paints. So a little bit, a little bit of water, a little more water, and a lot more water because it's a heavier body paint to get it down to the consistency that we're hoping for. Let me show you a lighter color so you can see that. It leaves just a little bit of a trace when the paint rolls off the popsicle stick into the paint below. So once again, 50% Flood Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, the Liquitex with the black label, and a nice generous splash of GAC 800 to your paints. Different paints got different amounts of pouring medium. The fluid paints, the golden paints are very high pigmented. So I put my pouring medium and my GAC 800 in the cup and I slowly start to add just a few squeezes at a time because sometimes that is all you need. And then you stir it up. If you feel you need a little more color, yeah, add a little bit more color, but these cups right here, just a couple of drops of the fluid paints. With the two paints, we are one part two paint, two and a half parts pouring medium, and water to get it down to the cons thin consistency of the other paints. Same with the DecoArt Metallics, it's a heavier body paint. It took one part paint, two and a half parts of my pouring medium and water until it's down to the right consistency. So we're gonna be doing a swipe. We're gonna be doing a swipe on a multiple different color base coat. And we'll just kind of go with the flow and see what happens as we go along, guys. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy I'm here. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Got the kick in every move, and I fought us like a fool for you, for you. Wish I knew just what it was, but why should I make a fuss? Just stay next to me.
special 